there, welcome over here today. I couldn't be more excited to be sharing this new Dump and Go crock pot video with you because I tried some more unique type of crock pot recipes. These are all super delicious and I think you'll enjoy them yourself. But anyways, this video is extra special because it's a collab with my friend Caitlin, Living That Mama Life. I will link her channel down below in my description box. So after this video, if you wanna go check her out, you can. I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you are new here, we would love to have you. So go ahead and subscribe down below the video but let's get to cooking. We're gonna start out today by making this creamy tortellini sausage soup. So you're gonna want to begin by browning up a pound of some Italian sausage. I'm just using this sweet Italian sausage. I just remove the casings and then add it into my pot. You could use any type of sausage you like. This is just my favorite. So I'm going to brown this sausage and cook it completely through. Once it is cooked through I just removed all of the excess grease. To my crock pot, I'm just adding our cooked up sausage along with our eight ounces of cubed cream cheese. I did cube this so it melts down better in the end. This cream cheese is also at room temperature. I left it out for about an hour beforehand. It's just also going to melt down better like that. So now I'm adding in our four cups of chicken broth. If you prefer veggie broth, you could add in veggie broth. Now you're gonna add in your two 15 ounce cans of diced tomatoes. Use any type of diced tomatoes that you prefer. You're just going to stir this all together to make sure it is nice and combined. And then you're going to cook this on low for about four hours or until that cream cheese starts to melt. Here we are about four hours later. I'm going to whisk our soup with my whisk right here. This is going to incorporate the cream cheese better. Your cream cheese will probably still be blocks at this point. They're not gonna be completely smooth and melted down, but just whisk it. I whisked this about 30 minutes prior. That's why mine are no longer blocks, but whisk it and it will be nice and smooth. Now I'm adding in my 10 ounces of frozen cheese tortellini along with three cups of spinach. Once again, you're going to mix all of this to combine put the lid on for an additional 30 minutes and then it is ready to serve. Here is my bowl of soup. I topped mine with some Parmesan cheese. I cannot even begin to explain how flavorful this is. It has such a nice, rich, great flavor. I think you would really enjoy this recipe. My family always loves it. Now I'm showing you this enchilada casserole. This is a complete hit. This is a delicious meal. So to my crock pot, I'm adding two medium sized chicken breasts. Per usual, add more or less chicken depending on your preference. Now I'm adding in two 10 ounce cans of enchilada sauce. Of course, use your favorite type of enchilada sauce. I'm gonna put the lid on and cook it on high for about three to four hours. Now that it's cooked through, I'm just going to shred our chicken up. You see how it is super, super easy to shred. I could pretty much just shred it with one fork. Once I'm through shredding my chicken, I'm going to jump over to my cutting board and chop up our 10 corn tortillas into smaller pieces. You could also use blue corn tortillas. We love blue corn tortillas, but I just use the regular yellow ones for today. I'm just going to add our corn tortillas into my crock pot along with one cup of some sharp cheddar cheese. I'm going to stir this all together. If you like to add black olives to your enchiladas, go ahead and add some black olives, or you could add beans or corn at this point. I just wanted to keep it simple for today though. Once I was through mixing that all together, I added some more cheese on top and then I covered this and cooked this on low for about 40 to 60 minutes. Here's my enchilada casserole. This came out unbelievably delicious. It has amazing flavor. Also a huge perk is it is so, so simple to throw together. Now we're making some baked ziti. This recipe is great because it could easily be doubled for a larger amount of people. To begin, I'm adding about seven and a half ounces of ricotta cheese into this bowl. The last two ingredients you're going to add is just one egg along with a half a teaspoon of some dried basil. If you have fresh basil, go ahead and add a couple tablespoons of fresh basil in. I'm just going to mix all of this to combine. I 
I set this to the side and now we're gonna begin to work on our marinara mixture to this bowl. I'm adding in about 24 ounces of my favorite type of marinara sauce along with eight ounces of some tomato sauce. And now all you're gonna do is mix these two ingredients together. To the bottom of my crock pot, I'm going to spray it with some nonstick spray. You want to always make sure you spray your crock pot with nonstick spray, especially when you cook pasta in it because pasta tends to stick. I just poured about a cup of that marinara mixture to the bottom of my crock pot. And now on top, I'm going to add a small amount of our penny pasta noodles. I am adding about a third a cup if I were to measure. And now with some of that ricotta cheese mixture, I'm going to plop some of it right on top. Now I'm going to pour some Parmesan cheese right on top of this, and then you're going to repeat the layers until your pasta noodles and everything is gone. I wanted to mention I used a half a pound of pasta noodles altogether. Using anything over a half a pound would be too much. You would have to double the entire recipe, so keep that in mind. last thing I did was sprinkle plenty of some mozzarella cheese on top. I cooked this on high for about two to three hours or until my pasta was all cooked through. I did pull a pasta noodle out to ensure that it was cooked through. Here is the finished product. I served our baked ziti with the side salad. My daughter especially loved this meal. This was a really good meatless meal option. Now we're making some classic beef stroganoff. So to my crock pot, of course, I'm spraying it with some nonstick spray to begin. And then from there, you're going to add in your beef stew meat. I'm adding in about two pounds of this beef stew meat. Right on top, I'm going to be adding one can of some cream of mushroom soup along with one packet of this Lipton onion dry mix. Next, you're going to be adding about eight ounces of some mushrooms that are diced into smaller pieces. I mixed this all together to make sure everything was well incorporated. And then I plopped the lid right on top and this cooks on low for about six to eight hours. About 30 minutes before this was finished cooking, I took the lid off and I gave this a really good stir. Now is the time you're gonna add in your six ounces of softened cream cheese. And then again, I did make sure this cream cheese was at room temperature, so I took it out about a couple hours before I was going to serve it. And now I'm adding in a third a cup of some sour cream. I'm going to give this a good stir and cook it on low for about 30 more minutes to melt down the cream cheese. I did stir it a few times while it was cooking to make sure the cream cheese was melted down. I served this on some egg noodles with a side salad along the side. This came out super duper good. I love making beef stroganoff like this. Now we're making some chicken and rice. This is kind of like comfort food to the max for me. I'm just going to dice up a half of an onion into smaller pieces. To my crock pot, I'm adding one pound of some chicken breast that I sliced thinly. So it's almost like chicken tenderloins. Of course, you could just use chicken tenderloins if you have it on hand. Just make sure it's around a pound. I salted it, peppered it, added some paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, and those are the seasonings that I used. 
I'm adding my diced up onion right on top along with our garlic. I know that I added a lot of onion, but we do love onion in our home. You could add less onion, more onion, or no onion at all, just whatever your preference is. This recipe will turn out amazing no matter what. So now I'm adding my two cups of chicken broth in along with my two cans of cream of soups. I'm adding one can of cream of chicken along with one can of cream of mushroom. And then the very last thing you're gonna do is give this a pretty good stir. This is gonna cook on low for about five to six hours, or you could do it on high for about three to four hours. 30 minutes before this is finished cooking, I'm going to be adding in our diced up mushrooms that we diced up earlier, and then I'm going to just let this cook for an additional 30 minutes. Now that we have our mushrooms cooked, I'm going to be adding in our two cups of some white rice. This white rice is already cooked. I just cooked it in my Instant Pot a little bit earlier in the day. And now you're gonna be adding your cup of some sharp cheddar cheese. And then you're going to let this cook for an additional five minutes, pretty much to just warm everything through and melt the cheese. Here's the finished product. This is my bowl of food. This came out so, so good. I will be the first to admit it's not the most glamorous looking, but it just has extremely great flavor. And that wraps up this crock pot video today. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And if you have any family favorite crock pot recipes, I would love to hear them down below in my comments. I love getting new meal ideas. But anyways, I hope you guys are all doing well. And if you are new here, we would love to have you. So go ahead and subscribe down below the video. And don't forget to go check out my friend, Caitlin. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.